Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Mr. Equalizer, and today I have another AR build for you. It's pretty exciting, it's pretty serious, and uh, it's pretty badass. So if you want to know exactly what I'm talking about, you come to the right place. But before I jump into this video, I just want to let y'all know, give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And for those of you that have subscribed over the last several weeks, you know who you are. Thank you so much. I do appreciate your support. It goes a very long way and it does not go unnoticed. So thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. So what am I referring to with this particular build? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video. So without further ado, let's check it out. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Beavis, you gotta get a whiff of this. <laughs> <coughs> no way, butthole! <laughs> Cut it out! <laughs> 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 that was cool. All right, so this is what we're jumping into, the AK-74. That's what we're gonna be talking about for this particular AR. So what I'm using here, as far as the optic goes, is what we're gonna jump into next. I am going to recommend the Merlin Mini for this particular weapon, you know, up close in your, you know, just, you know, the, the standard optics that you see here that have no particular zoom. As far as the uh, muzzle goes, when we jump on over to the muzzle, I'm gonna recommend that you use the compensator for this particular build. This is gonna give you a little bit more accuracy. Also, it's going to improve your vertical recoil. There's a lot of things that I'm gonna re refer to as far as mobility, handling, and accuracy. Now, if you really wanted to, you could jump on over to the suppressor, which I find is fascinating especially if you don't want to end up on the mini map when you're firing your weapon and to give away your location that's fine and dandy but if i'm using something that's going to help improve my aim for this particular build i'm going to recommend that you use a compensator for your vertical recoil control we're going to jump on over to the barrel i recommend that you use the reinforced barrel to give you damage range and bullet velocity it's going to help improve your overall range for that bullet to get across the map at long distances and it's going to improve your overall damage as well all right as far as the underbarrel goes we're going to wrap the vertical foregrip for this particular build now i don't really care for any other foregrip on this particular build it gives you a little bit more advantage as well for your horizontal recoil control with ars you need a lot of control. As far as the magazine goes, we're going to use the extended mag one. It's gonna give you about 10 more rounds versus your 30 round mag. So you got a little bit of an advantage there with your extended mag. As far as the rear grip goes, I'm going to recommend the ergonomic grip. This is gonna give you slide to fire speed, dive to fire speed, and aim down sight speed, which is highly important, uh, especially if you're a runner gunner with this particular uh, AR, and it's going to help improve uh, your slide fire speed as well. There's a lot of folks that like to slide and dive and so on and so forth. As far as the stock goes, we're gonna go with the heavy stock to give us that flinch resistance. The heavier the stock, the better off your, your recoil control is gonna be. Go with the heavy stock. As far as the fire mods go, go with the recoil springs. It's going to give you more advantage when it comes to your horizontal recoil control and your vertical recoil control as far as the loadout is concerned on everything else i am running a gracova pistol i'm running a tactical for the stem shot for my tactical for my lethal it's a simtech running a trophy system for my field upgrade all my perks are going to be gung-ho assassin double time and for my specialty is obviously enforcer the reason why i'm able to also run eight attachments if you're not aware i'm running for my wild card gunfighter and that gives me the ability to add more attachments you normally have five this is going to allow you to have at least eight attachments let's jump into the game and find out how this thing performs let's go reclaim the advantage now hold it losing b Oh, damn, you were lucky. Lucky. Hostile UAV established overhead. We're using Alpha. Controlling Taking Bravo. The objective. Watch my oh, nasty. Taking Bravo underway. We have Securing to take this C. objective. Bravo, 
Boom! That's why you want the extended mag right there. Damn it. There we go. There it is. There it is. Don't make it too easy for me, boys. Losing B. <laughs> Grave requesting care package deployment. Enemy UAV inbound. There it is. Hello. Securing B. Boy. Muscles at the hard point. Ooh. Hard, hard point located. Dude was just kind of hanging out there, wasn't he? Anybody else want to peek in the window? About the water. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Boom. So if I had to say right now, if I had to compare uh, ARs at the present moment, it gets the job done at close to medium range um, targets. So it, it does really well with that. We have a lot more ARs coming up in the future. Be sure it again sub to the channel give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video here today until next time we'll catch you all on the next video i'm out